Hello and welcome to my official GoBoat 2.0 Mini Vector setup and full review. Today we are going to set up and try the GoBoat. We are at Lake Crago Recreational Complex located in Lakeland, Florida. What a beautiful place. I highly recommend you come checking it out. That's Bestie. Alright, so we got the Go Boat Mini. The seat. And the trolling motor and battery mount. Here's the air pump, so we'll start by blowing it up first. This end of the pump attaches to the top and it just twists right on. This gets twisted off. This is right in there and it locks in. It says pump it up to 15 PSI. Right there where the red meets the green. It's a workout for sure. We are almost there. Almost there. We are in the clear. Green means good. A little twist. Nice and sturdy. Now we'll do the seat. Same thing. Give a little twist. Pump to five PSI. Maximum 10 PSI. So right there. One more chamber, same thing. Minimum five, max 10 PSI. We're in the yellow. All clear. Awesome. So this is the back side. This is the front. You got these little, uh, Attachments here, you can tighten them up. And then you got the ones in the back. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tighten them up real quick. Alright, so we got the seat on, strapped in, tightened up. These straps here just kind of have this, just kind of hook it in there. And then you can adjust the seat so it stops it from going all the way back. And then seat in the back. So that's where we're at. So the mounting bracket gets lined up on this little white square. And then the hardware was in the orange repair container. 
hidden inside this. So I'll just tighten this up using the Allen wrench that was included. Just a couple of little twists. Place and it slides too. And then to lock it, you just push this thing down. All right, so we got the trolling motor on. Basically, you just kind of set it on this little rack right here. And then tighten these up. And then this right here, you can loosen or tighten. And that's how this is staying up off the ground or out of the water. Or when you're kind of you can adjust your height. All right. And then pushing down this button right here. Pushing down that button. That's how you could adjust where the trolling motor is. So here's a tricky part. You gotta get this in this hole. And then it's gonna line up with this groove right here. Like so. Got it in the groove. Luckily you only have to do this once. unless you need to buy something new. Tighten it with your fingers. And then finish it off with a couple of these. Alright, so these little things, they just keep the battery in place. You just put the screw end on there. And then you give it a little twist. Uh, that's nice and tight, not going anywhere. Got one more. Again, this is the mini vector. And then slides this way. My fault, it's this way. Slides right up in there. Just like that. And then you take this and then just locks right in. Boom. Locked in. We are officially ready. So you want to get it in the water enough to where the uh, fin doesn't rub it against the bottom.
Sorry about the weird angle. Trolling motor has been lowered. Remember, using this press button and it kind of locks it in all the way down. You lock it into there. And that's how far it up sits. So connecting the red with the black. Red is positive, black's negative. Know that you got a connection because the battery will show a green light on top of the trolling motor. We'll have a green light. Before connecting the battery, make sure that the trolling motor is in the off position. Meet me over by the dock. This is the Go Boat Mini Vector. My roommate Chance, best friend, he weighs 145 pounds. The max limit for this is supposed to be 125, which includes the battery. Um, I would not push more than 150 pounds on this one, but they have other models that go up uh, that the max weight is 300 pounds on the bigger models, but my max weight for me is 118 pounds. I'm little, so this will be perfect for me. So what do you think? Oh, I love it. Beautiful. So this was on sale 60% off. I pre-ordered it back in April. It was... The sale price was $475, and all of the boats come with the trolling motor. You just gotta buy a battery. Um, I'm just using a lawnmower battery from AutoZone, and I paid $68 for it. What's your max speed? The max speed is five miles per hour. According to the website, two batteries will make it run all day long, so 24 hours. Again, we are at Lake Crago Recreational Complex located in Lakeland, Florida, and the park is free to enter and free to use the docks. There's that off position I was telling you about before you connect the battery. It's a little windy out today, so there is some chop. I wouldn't take it out in any more than this. But it does seem like it will, it will struggle a little bit. But it's doing fine. Your feet are definitely going to get wet, so don't be weird like me and have socks on with your shoes. Did you hear that in the gargling noise? It kind of sounds like a mad alligator. Just drop the uh, trolling motor lower into the water. So in the state of Florida, you do have to have this registered, so I'm going to go do that as soon as possible so I don't get in trouble.
Yep. I'm definitely getting another one of these. I've done decided. Goboat.com, y'all. Worth it. Getting on this thing is fairly easy, especially when you got a dock. <clears throat> Bounce, 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 bounce. Alright, let's go for a stroll. One mile per hour. Just kidding, I don't know what the one stands for. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> it is one mile per hour. Two miles per hour. Three miles per hour. Now we're gonna go four miles per hour. The turns are pretty awesome. Nice and sharp. And then you could stand up. I realize I did not test the five miles per hour. I'm sorry, but it's okay. Definitely loving these views and taking in this beautiful nature at this park. I'm getting too close to the bushes here. Just a little caution, don't lean forward because doing so will cause the uh, battery to tip down into the water a little bit. So just lean back like normal. All right, now we're gonna do the fun part. 
the packing up and putting away process. So, you take this, you'll loosen it up, and then you'll pull this up. So you'll pull it up, and then here's that button again. You'll push this button, and then you'll lift it up. And then you'll pull it back until it looks like that. And that's how you carry it when you're out of the water. Deflating was fairly easy. You just open up the valves and push in that white button. The only thing there's no space for is a battery. I would just have that in a little carrying case with, you know, a strong carrying case, but the battery's not too, not too heavy. This is a little heavy. It's probably about 50 pounds and then maybe uh, 50 or 60 pounds um, with the motor attached. Definitely don't want to walk too far with this thing. Still convenient. I'll probably invest in a collapsible dolly with wheels and I'll just wheel it around. Well, that's it for my Go Boat Mini Vector video review and testing. I hope you enjoy. Take care.